found out my wife cheated on me multiple times, now she's insecure and has a huge fear of me leaving her. Backstory My wife, 27 female, and I, 28 male, have been together since high school. She had a history of being promiscuous woman before we met. I took my chances and fell head over heels for her. I dropped everyone and everything for her. Looking back, it was 100% toxic. She got pregnant with our daughter who is my world. Welcoming my beautiful human into this world gave me life. At age 20, I found out when my daughter was a year old that my wife cheated on me 9 months before she was pregnant with my twin brother. I remember nutting in her and saying I hope you got pregnant off of that one 9 months before she was born too. It's a mystery that I am fine not finding out if I am the father, not even sure if it is possible being as we are twins. The wife and I never have talked about it. His wife and I worked together and we left early one day. I acted like him to sign their marriage venue because we are identical and he couldn't leave work. His wife came on to me that day and I told him. He took my phone and said I want to see if my wife would do that to me. I think he felt guilty and that's what sparked him to tell me about him and my wife. I was in shock and heartbroken. I told my wife to go to her parents. She did. I knew I needed to teach her a lesson, even though I wanted to put it behind me and act like it never happened. I heard rumors while living at her mom she started messing around with a dude at work. I woke up throwing up on myself. I drove up there to beat his neck and her car was outside but she wasn't there. She threw her time cards on the floorboard of her car and when she picked up our daughter I would sneak them so I could build a case against her because I felt like she was acting like she was at work and never with our daughter. I wanted her to stop talking to that guy so bad that I told her I would forget about everything else. Her dad told me to be her prince charming and stay persistent or my daughter will be calling someone else dad. She is just trying to find herself. This is what happens when you are young and want to play house, etc. I cried and cried to make it stop. It didn't. It stopped when I stopped. I stopped trying to make it work and she freaked out. We ended up moving to Utah to start fresh. I took a promotion for work and we moved to Utah. I was optimistic and she became miserable. I would come home on my lunch every day and cater to my family to build excitement about the new life. She stayed miserable and said she wanted to move back home. She moved home a few weeks earlier than I did. She stayed with my family. While I finished out work in Utah and packed our house. My mom went to my aunt's house where my wife was for the day and she had a glass door with shapes that you could barely see through. Through a little piece of glass seen my younger brother and wife laying on the couch. When she rang the doorbell she seen them jump up and younger brother fixing his belt. She called my wife a promiscuous woman and called her mom to come get her. I had no idea this happened because my mom knew this was the second brother she did this with. While this was happening, I knew nothing and told my wife I think we need a break. She knew I didn't know. I ended up having says with my boss's daughter. I know that was crappy of me and I tried to tell my wife but she shut me down. I learned later why. I went to my aunt's house and my mom spent the night with me there. My wife was blowing up my phone at 2 am. She was drunk and just left the bar. She was freaking out and crying. My mom woke up and said what the duck does she want. I was shocked my mom said that. Then my mom said I'll take her home. Shocked again. I said no, he'll do it. My mom screamed and said I seen her ducking Derek, my other brother. Who's next on her list? My husband, which is my dad? My mother yelled, I took her to her mom's. I asked did you duck my brother? She said no. She got out of the car and said she was going to end her life because of the rumor. She was going to end her life because we were not together. She was drunk and laid on the ground screaming she wanted to die. I took her to her mom's, where my daughter was because it was her night, and laid in the bed with her till she fell asleep to make sure she didn't do anything stupid. I waited for her to fall asleep and I cried. A few years later, I get an FB video chat request from her ex-boyfriend's girlfriend. She told me my wife was a promiscuous woman that she broke up their family when she went back to her hometown to visit her other family. I gave her my car and she sent my a mail of my wife calling her BF saying her tire was flat. My tire pressure light stayed on and I knew this was true. She then forwarded me pics of my wife with no clothes. I received the same pics from my wife. I asked my wife if they had said she said no. I told her for some reason I am no longer phased by this kind of crap and she started to cry. She cheated on this dude with his best friend. Since then my wife is now great. She is an amazing mom. She went to counseling. 
I hate that she accuses me of cheating constantly. She makes the bed every morning. That is what amazing people do. I don't go through her phone. I don't accuse her of being unfaithful. I asked each time I found something out did you cheat she would say no. I didn't investigate further because I didn't want to know. I remember praying Lord let me be lied to. I didn't want to deal because I didn't want to react. For if I react, I knew other lives were going to be affected, my children, my parents, my siblings, and even my wife. I protected them even though I didn't cause this. Here is the problem it's been four years. I still bottle it up because I never handled it. I know I should have left. I think I have thrown it in her face at least three times. One time saying you ducking shattered me, seen me broken and I had to put me together because of you lied and this is who I am now. Tough as crap. We tried marriage counseling and I found myself getting defensive for her and having her back. She went to individual counseling and it helped her. Back when it happened and I tried to talk about it I seen her freak out and thought oh god, the guilt will cause her to hurt herself so I quickly shut up and shut down. I am not as affectionate. I am not reassuring. Because of this maybe I never forgave her? Sometimes I think hold her hand. Then I remember don't put your walls down or you will get hurt. Now that all the crap has expired, it's wrong for me to try to sort it out. My advice is don't hold it in. That's not being a hero. That's enabling and will cause you to self-destruct. P.S. Don't want why all thinking hell this guy must have done something. I am fun, outgoing. I always make people feel comfortable and I can make anyone smile and laugh. I don't have any real haters and I don't hate. I am attractive and fit and great in bed and a great size. All the standard reasons why people cheat do not apply here. I'm not overselling because of a deep-rooted insecurity either lol. I'm not as good of a person as I used to be but I am still a good guy. I know I'm not great to her now because of it. She is insecure. Really insecure. Especially when it comes to our relationship. She has a huge fear of me leaving her. She fears when the children are 18 that I will be out. Thanks for helping with any advice you have. Erm. So let me get this right, you know she has cheated on you countless times, with family members, not just one but two, but you're still with her? This baffles me. I don't know if I should congratulate you or tell you how stupid you are for being able to stay after all that, I would have ran for the hills. You say she's been good for four years now. How do you know she has been faithful since? How did she regain your trust back after all that? I have many questions but the main is, why did you stay? For the accusing you part it could be different factors. Either she's still cheating and if you were cheating she wouldn't feel as guilty or she thinks cause she cheated back then that you are now going to start. This guy is a ducking pee. He needs to move on with his life and stop writing long story about his personal life. Fair. I call myself the same at times. I was trying to be a good dad and that was my experience I was sharing of my efforts. When people say I got it rough I am showing it could be worst. But while I got you here reading my crap. Where is your dad? You mad? Quit reading a P's experience. It took 2 seconds to write you this and it took 10 minutes for you to read my long story. You gave me way more time than I gave you. Thanks. I know that she isn't cheating because she has isolated herself so badly that most people will say okay that's too harsh. She did that to herself. I didn't see remorse. Ever. Because I was lied to. But I seen her self-destruct. I am sure I was too nice back then. A child changes you and I was in denial with it all. Leave her and save yourself from this nonsense. Interesting how you lay it all on her and nothing concerning your relatives. And nothing concerning why she chested over and over and over again. Nothing more it seems. Introducing Newscaster Vocalizer, is a new first of its kind, groundbreaking app, which allows you to generate full featured voiceovers from any text using direct access to Amazon-powered Newscaster Vocalizer without spending thousands of dollars. Just select a language and voice, paste your text, click a button, and it's done. I would like to give you some advice but you are so deep in that hole that you cannot even see light. Understand, you cannot change what you cannot acknowledge. And that is applicable to both of you. You are operating strictly on emotion and you cannot see the trees from the forest. And your wife, well past performance is a good indicator of future performance. You can't change what you do not want to change. This is what you are teaching your kids that a relationship is supposed to be like. They learn from their parents about life and relationships. This is insane. 
I 100% agree with 50% of your statement. The other crap is judgment. I was young when I made that decision to stay and here I am stating and acknowledging that I made the wrong decision. But you read it the wrong way and people like you read the crap I write and think that I haven't told myself every single day that my wife doesn't deserve a distant husband and I didn't deserve the all the crap I endured. No matter what for the rest of my life there will be pain with or without. I don't walk in my house like a raging D because of the past. I am honest when I say I am more reserved. My children will pick up on my reservations but they don't know why. I seen my parents beat the crap out of each other. That taught me it was wrong. It didn't teach me to do it. When my children are around my voice changes no matter the circumstance and I'm bubbly as hell. I'm honestly speechless. I assume it's her guilty conscience. Even she must feel sometimes how and why you forgave her for all of that. Perhaps she thinks you're going to be paying her back and this is all a revenge plot? Sorry, I watch a lot of drama TV shows, pardon my theories lol. While I'm glad you've worked things out, I really do want to know how you did it. Do you still have flashbacks, panic attacks, cry, etc? What is your relationship with your brothers now? How does your mom feel? So many questions. Sorry for prying, this is just so intense. Good luck to you all. Stay safe smile not prying. I posted lol. Exactly. I know she feels there is karma coming. But we don't talk about it. So that is me allowing her mind to wonder as mine did. Meaning this is why quiet is wrong. I was too humiliated to ask for advice. I didn't want people feeling worse than what I assumed they would feel. I'm not sure I did it. I'm different now. I miss the old me. I have flashbacks every year because it happened every Octoberish. Holy crap which is why I'm getting feels out now. The twin I'm close with. I'm not sure if it's because he came out and told me. The younger brother not so much. I'm cordial for the fam. The younger brother had a sick child in the hospital and I did everything for them. I always try to show true forgiveness like God does but I do struggle. Other times, I feel inconsistent. All I can say is, life's too short. Too short to live in misery. I don't think you did her a favor, or your daughter, by staying. I'm not going to tell you how to live your lives, your lives your rules. But I hope you get to spend a bigger part of your life in happiness, and your wife too. Having an experience in behavioral health, I think your wife might have some psychiatric disorder that made her to be compulsively promiscuous. There are mental issues that a counselor can be good for, but some have underlying issues best addressed by a psychiatrist. Honestly, a fear of me leaving at the time was that she would go duck everyone. I know it wouldn't be my business but I knew it would still duck me up. Personally I can't believe you stayed with her through all that. She has damaged you mentally and you keep giving her chances. She needs to be held accountable for what she's done and I would never believe a word that comes out of her mouth. She is showing you that she is a consistent liar and she is willing to destroy people's lives without a second thought. She is about as toxic as toxic can be. I wish you the best but you know running, hiding from your issues won't solve them. You can live a life without this woman and be with a person that actually values your trust in you as a person. This person clearly doesn't. I know. I am the one who broke me because I felt pain from the first time and swore I'd never feel that again. I did something different, I stayed. As much as I hate to admit it, I did run. I did hide. We didn't fight about it because I didn't bring it up. At the time I also thought, if I can feel all this pain from her while we are together, what about when I leave and she is mad as crap? She could ruin me. Clearly I was immature. But I really was a peacemaker back then. I am not now. Worldwide comments of the day. Christ alive the entire relationship is one giant Rubik's cube. Just cut all ties and move on. Seriously they are only 20 plus years old and they are dealing with something like this. Classic I don't want you but no one else can have you. He's not worth it. Hope OP can break things off for good and move on. This relationship is the definition of toxic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.